to Alex Beadle about his experience of doing a gap year. Alex, you spent time in New Zealand, a little bit of time in the UK. Can you tell us a little bit about the experience? Yeah, sure. Um, it was fantastic. I first of all went to New Zealand for about four months. I was mainly there to play rugby, but I needed to support myself as well. So I worked as a beekeeper, which was... A beekeeper? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It was very different, needless to say, uh, but also it taught me a lot of skills that I used uh, later on in life and I can always tell if someone's read my CV when it's on there. Absolutely. And what made you decide to take a gap year straight out of school? Um, I'd spent a long time studying and I was just ready to do something different. I didn't want to go straight to university and kind of burn out, so I thought it was a time in my life when I was never going to be able to do that type of thing again, uh, travel a lot. and. It just seemed like the right time to do it and then I'd be more settled and ready to study when I got back to university. Hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about the rugby? You said you, play, you spent four months playing rugby. Yeah, I, um, it was fantastic. I actually got sponsored my flights and my travel and my accommodation while I was out there so it didn't cost me anything. And it was just really brilliant to be immersed in a completely different culture. Um, so yeah, it was a great experience. Great. And working as a ski instructor, I'm sure you absolutely love that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was amazing. It's tough not to enjoy that, literally doing something I loved all day, every day, six days a week. And Alex, what would your additional advice be to the scholars that are watching this and who are considering taking a gap year straight out of school? Um, you've got to do it for the right reasons. If you're going to be doing something that you absolutely love and it's not going to affect your university career, then go for it. Take the opportunity to do it. Um, don't take the year off and just sit there and wait for stuff to happen and hope that it turns out alright. You need to plan it and it needs to be worthwhile. Great, thank you so much.